creating guys on back again. Today I'm going to look at my uh, mobile antennas that I use on the DX machine. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with what I use in the van. Uh, I run these. It's difficult to get all of these actually. Uh, these are Maldo. So this is the uh, the biggest one that I've got. This is the 80 meter uh, Maldo one. It's the uh, 3.5 megahertz HFC 80. I'll just spin that around so you can read that for yourselves. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful antenna. Works really well. I've had many good QSOs with this one. And it's not, as you can see, it's not too big. So that's the total height up on me. I'm just uh, five foot 10. So that's the size of that one. Uh, probably about 1.3 meters. That's a Maldol HFC um, 20 meter mobile base loaded antenna. I use the 20 meter version permanently on, installed on my van. Uh, and I've worked the world, literally. So this is the next one that I've got. This is the uh, another Maldol. This is the Maldol HFC 40. So this is a decent antenna in itself. Uh, very good antenna for DX. Again, works particularly well, uh, mobile in. Can handle, uh, I think, 1200 watts. So yeah, that's the size of that one. So it's really nice and small. And again, you can you know, I can drive about with this permanently fixed to the van of the roof. I've got my mount um, drilled through the actual roof and it's a permanently uh, installed mount. So I suggest that anyone using the HF antennas as a proper fixed mount, the magnetic mounts, they're not particularly suitable. Although for this particular video, I'm probably going to try one out anyway. So yeah, that's uh, the HFC um, 40. I've got the HFC 20 on the car. Uh, I couldn't get my hands on a HFC 15, so I went for the next best option which is the Comet, Comet one, that's this one. So this is, I think this is a CH, I'll just have a quick look. So yeah, this is a CHS21. So again, uh, I'll just get it in the camera for you. Nice piece of kit, made from Comet, quality. And uh, I've used it, worked Brazil from the mobile, South America, uh, on that particular time that the 15 meter van was open. So this is a nice, neat, compact, base loaded vertical. Uh, a lot of you guys have them big whips, they're okay, but obviously they work well when you're stationary, but they're not much cop for driving around. So these are ideal for permanent fixing. So it's what I use anyway. I just keep them in a bag and I can swap over uh, as and when I need them. So that's the 15 meter antenna. So of course there is other options. Uh, if you fancy uh, a multiband antenna, you might want to consider something like this beast. Again, this is getting slightly big now, so obviously taller than myself. I'd say it were, well, it's quite a, quite a way above myself, so it's probably a seven foot tall antenna, six foot, six and a half feet, something like that. But the good thing about this particular uh, antenna, it's a multi-band antenna. So it works on, uh, I believe it works on this particular length, 40 meters, it works on 70 cents, it works on two meters, six meters, um, 15 meters, 10 meters, obviously tw uh, not 20 on this one, uh, and uh, the 40 meter band's the large full section. So this is quite a nice piece of kit, it's called a Maldol again. Another Japanese antenna, uh, but I personally think it's a bit too big for driving around with. So we've got on this particular one, um, it's a HFC 6S. So it's a six band antenna. And it covers uh, HF through to VHF. And that's a Maldol HFC, whatever I said it was. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to see. 620. So another good antenna, lovely piece of kit. Let me of course look at it. I'm going to try it out in a minute. So I'm just going to plug my FT817 into this one. And we'll have a little play. So that's what I uh, use for mobile in. Uh, and then when I'm parked up, then I time, it's time to get the beast out. Oh, by the way, just before I go off onto the beast, I'll just show you the uh, the next stage of the, the six bander. I've got a next, another little um, top section. This makes it from 40 meters to 20 meters. So in other words, I can unscrew this particular section here, drop that one in, which reduces the size of it quite dramatically to a more reasonable size. And then I'd have a six band HF and VHF antenna as well for 20 meters. That's the 40 meter one. So I just thought I'd mention that. That's the, an accessory that goes with the Maldol. So quite good. But anyway, my favorites coming up. Well, the Maldols are my favorites. because I've got one on permanently. Uh, every day and I can say I've had that on all these antennas <coughs> excuse me uh, since 2005 and uh, the Malwell HFC 20 has been in use every day so it's done 16 years 
got a bit of insulation tape around it a little bit here and there it's getting a bit warm but other than that it's still performing superb regular contact dx so yeah i'm just putting together the hustler so i've got a hustler mobile as well this is a nice uh, antenna so the the base of the hustler mobile it's a it's a bit like a uh, typical copper or brass fitting so i can get a focus on that just bring it a little bit closer touch the screen do apologize Bit of clean up for you hopefully so it's just a uh, i think it's a 5 8 with thread i can't have got 5 8 thread i can't quite remember now uh, but because I'm, I'm an imperial guy but anyway this is the aluminium tubing for the hustler nice quality piece of tube and i'll start off with a little babe so this one here i think this is a 10 meter one so this one screws on to the top and this is a, a nice quarter wavelength be nine feet uh, with the coils so yeah that's a nice piece of kit that's one resonant or should i say a resonator for hustler so that's a hustler mobile antenna quite a cool antenna 10 meter version so now i'll just put in the uh oh no, sorry that's a 15 meter version I tell a lie 15 meters i got that one wrong i've got too many this is the 20 meter one so check this one out that's the, the 20 i'll pay a bit more attention so a 20 meter one this is the uh, nice one so this is the sort of size just give you an idea of the kind of sizes these antennas are guys that's why obviously they're better for when you've, you've become stationary parked up can't really drive about with something like this one unless you've got it mounted on the, the lower part of the vehicle of course so that's the size of the 20 meter one so quite a good size up way up there so that's a nice resonator for the 20 meter one so what else have we got? So this is the fun part now, getting to the exciting ones. Very nice bits of kit. And of course, you can just buy the, the actual antenna base section and then keep renewing the tops, get different ones. You know, you'd have to buy them all in one go. So we're getting there, we're moving uh, down the band as it were. So now we're going to fit this one. So this is the 40 meter resonator from Hustler. Let's try this out for size. So it's starting to look like a a DX antenna now for sure even though I know the 20 meter one performs extremely well I've had some good DX contacts just about fitting in in this room so that's the uh, 40 meter resonator from Hustler looking pretty cool I must say I like it looks good on the top of the van on the DX machine so these are what I want to try out obviously when lockdown's done I want to park up somewhere good I've had them for years I just don't get around to doing it because I've got family some kids but the uh, eldest is now wanting to sit her license she got 18 out of 25 correct today on a mock exam so she's ready really so it's just a case of a bit more practice and she'll be on the other side of the dx machine urging me to go out and get these antennas up so that's the plan so yeah this is it this is my favorite this is the uh, hustler rm80 so the 80 meter resonator and uh, yeah that's not going to stood up in here it's quite a beast uh, that's to the roof so yeah you can see it and that is uh, a nice piece of kit so this is just a quick rundown of some of the antennas and what they look like so right now i'm going to plug my uh my ft817 in and i'm just going to uh i'm going to use a mag mount i'm just going to see what we can receive and basically uh what we're keeping up so these are some mobile antennas i'd say a slightly better quality than some of the ones that you can get in my opinion obviously everybody has their own opinion that's what makes it interesting so now I'm going to use this magnetic mount. So the mag mount, I don't recommend these other than for uh, two meters, 70 cms, that kind of thing. They're, they're not much, they're not very good for HF. They don't get a particularly good ground connection. So I'm, this is just good for playing around, uh, doing little portable demonstrations, things like that. So that's what I'm going to use right now. So I'll set uh, an antenna up and you can see what it sounds like. Ah, yeah, now we've got the 40. So let's see what this is like.
Wow, nice sauce. So yeah, working pretty good on 40, I'd say. So yeah, I've just changed it over to the 20. So that's what the 20 meter one looks like, a little bit smaller. Still quite nice. So let's just try out the band and see what we can hear. Again, noisy. <laughs> On the mag mount, with no radials or anything. Possibly the band's shut now. It hasn't been too good anyway. So you can hear when I touch it, obviously, get a little bit of a lot of noise there. A bit of a ground. So a massive difference with the human contact there, taking the noise level way down. Good earthing is essential with HF. So that's a 20 meter one. So finally I've got the uh, Maldol multiband on now. This is quite good. Let me have a closer look at it. It's getting a bit dark but the various bands. So that's got the 40 meter section in it at the minute and uh, I'm just on 20 at the moment, I'll drop down and we'll take a look at it. So let's have a quick nip down. Again, still receiving quite a bit of noise here, obviously. Try the human ground. So that's on 40, which it's uh, resonant on. So yeah, 10 metre band, as you see, B frequency working well. And now we're on the VHF reception side. Local airport. So pretty handy, multi-band antenna. A lot of people will probably like this for the short way of listening. So that's a Maldol multibander. So just a quick rundown what we did. We got the Hustlers, uh, which uh, I've got all the, what we call the resonators. That's the large white coils. They're the biggest of the antennas that I tried today. And I plugged them into the FD817, which is a nice little field rig for testing things out. And uh, yeah, we had a quick look at my Maldol range of antennas, which uh, I really rate and like for driving about everyday operation. Uh, not to take them off. I just swap them over as and when and this is that one I just tried out at the end which is a very good antenna so it's the uh, multiband Maldol so covering VHF and HF and obviously it's got the uh, changeable uh, top coil as well 
which can be added on uh, from either 40 meter band or 20 meter band at your discretion <laughs> so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, something a little bit different whilst i just waste a bit of time waiting for my modem to get repaired well actually my outside cable uh, it's not my end it's their end so catch you next time on a video and hopefully next time i'll be out and about on the dx machine trying some of these fantastic uh, mobile antennas out properly and letting you see uh, just how well they perform so stay safe and thanks for watching the video don't forget hit that subscribe button and then you'll get a notification when i'm out on the road trying them out 73 m0 yks <laughs>